I love uh, I love risking my life on an arrow. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I can fire from here. Well, that's interesting. It's the first I've heard about it. There we go. Was there some dangers down there? No. Shiny goldies here. Better be gold. Come on. Uh, well, you know. Close enough. Alright. We're still not cutting, right? We're still going. One tick. Yeah? Okay. Bells. The old city is close. Bells above. Lara, we're on the mountain above the glacier. Can you see oh, yeah. the city? Yes. They're beginning their oh. operation. I'm entering the old city now. Well, not yet. Don't attack them too soon. We'll give it some time. I'll contact you again soon. Okay. Good luck. Oh, shit. The boys are here. Oh Hey, come on, stop that. I'm trying to climb over here. Shit. Well, that didn't go swimmingly, but at least I didn't get caught. So, you know, some positive, right? There's a lot of soldiers here. A lot of immortal soldiers here. So I got. <coughs> oh. Am I not a lot? No. Okay. Oh. Oh. Open wide. Okay, I'm good. Let's keep going. Music make lose control. Music make lose control. <sighs> oh. Shit. They've got bannermen and everything. Vanguard. Is that Greek fire, right? Chebuchet. So many of them. Damn. Well, good thing I'm not on. Oh. Oh no. Ooh. Go away. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, that worked. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shit. That's not explosive. Go. Hey, get back here. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. Shield can't protect you from that, can it? design but it looks like a no not possible hmm what are you trying to say it looks like a woman could be I mean I don't know maybe back then men like to show their midriff and have very very wide hips or very thin waists or whatever I don't know. Who am I to judge, right? <clears throat> whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. Uh, ooh. Uh, oh. Well, that's not a very welcoming sight. Jeez. Hello? Going to break through the ice any minute. Do you think you can stop them? The best we can do is buy you some time. I'll see you on the other side. All right. <sighs> Good luck. <sighs> the Chamber of Souls. The divine source has to be there. Hmm. Well, looks like the way into the city center is through that gate. Exactly. So, there's only one way to find out, really. <sighs> I don't know what I expected an immortal being to be like, but Jacob seems so human. The things he must have seen over the years, all that experience and knowledge, it's difficult to fathom. And yet, he lied to his own people for generations, all for the sake of this secret. What wonders will be unlocked with the Divine Source? Will humans finally understand the true nature of the soul? Or will it unlock some extraordinary new scientific discovery? 
One thing is certain. It's too important to allow Trinity to control. I leave these notes for whoever should follow in my footsteps. My wounds are worse than I believed. They will not heal. Tonight I will make one last attempt to escape this frozen tomb, but I doubt I have the strength. The divine source is here, at the peak of the tallest tower, but it is beyond my reach. With the source at his disposal, the deathless ones are unstoppable, an army of wraiths and devils that can never die, a mockery of all God's creation. They are no longer human, and they will break any army that stands in their way. With every death and rebirth, they learn. They adapt. Should Trinity someday find a way to seize it for ourselves, I fear that we will do no better. Perhaps it would be best if it were to remain lost forever. I have never felt such terror. Tonight the armies of the Mongol horde camp at the edge of the valley ready to strike at the heart of Katesh. We have the alchemist's fire at ready to set the invaders alight. Every man and woman who can wield a weapon will fight. We will do all we can to support the Athanatoi. But I have never seen bloodshed. None of us mere citizens have. I have never taken a life and now that I must, I fear for my resolve. Trinity has twice before sent great men seeking the path, and twice before they have vanished. He carried the divine source out of the Empire, but it was not his to take. That blasphemy taints everything while his descendants still live. So Trinity must try again. I have done ungodly things, committed terrible sins against the innocent, just to reach this place. To retrieve the divine source. I know God will forgive for what I do. I do for the greater good. Now the end is in sight. I need only survive this final battle, and Trinity's work will be done. I have failed. There will be no pardon for my sins. I have drenched my hands in blood in pursuit of the... And now there is nothing left. As the attack became a siege, the people did the unthinkable. They turned their weapons against the glaciers and buried their own city. Mongol and the people alike were crushed in the ice. The Khan and his warrior horde are dead. The people of Katesh are broken and scattered. I alone survive in the frozen heart of the city, and my only companions are the deathless army of the their eyes aflame with unholy light. Even now, they hunt the ruins for survivors. <gasps> oh! Um. Uh, oh! Yeah, that's probably not a good sign. <laughs> Alright, guys. Wanna play dirty? So be it. There you go. What do you think about that, huh? A bit dizzy here. Oh. Trying to sneak up on me, big fella. Come on, let's go in here, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. 
And who's playing the long range game, huh? You guys. What are you doing? Just what do you think you're doing? You're standing next to a barrel of Greek fire. Do I have to spell it out for you? I mean, you're the one who... You're the ones who created this. You... Must know how dangerous it is. Oh well. <clears throat> At last. I killed one of the deathless soldiers. I tracked him through the day until he was alone. He seemed to sense me before I struck. As if he knew the sound of my bowstring. He was strong. But I am clever and I have faith. My arrows pierced his flesh. But he fought on until I placed a shot between his eyes. Even then, he managed to wound me before I caved in his skull. His body caught fire and fell into ash before my eyes. It has been hours since he died, but his ashes still smolder, hissing and popping in the darkness. I do not believe this is his end. The source has a great and terrible sway over those it touches. I must know what happens next. God is testing me. I've scavenged weapons and tools enough to survive. The Khan once demanded I learn to draw a bow and fight like one of his soldiers, and I am grateful for that. He gave me his own arrows, made for punching holes in armor. The ice around me provides all I need to drink, but it runs red with blood. The army now patrols a dead city. These are not the soldiers who first met us at the city gates. They have been changed somehow. Among them, I can see a man that I myself killed in the battle. The old legends say that those who looked upon the divine source relinquished their very souls to it, attaining immortality. If this is true, I will surely perish here buried with the secret I was sent to find. After the city was built, the first generation of followers stared out upon it. One among them, a man named Valentinus, has spent his whole life devoted to the study of time and its passage. The sought him out in the crowd and asked him what he thought of the city. Valentinus said he felt it was a blessed place, that time would move slowly there, and that Gatesh would last for generations untold. The smiled, for he knew that he had made a home where his people might be safe. Yep. That's good enough. Now yeah. to fire. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fire. That might be a little too far. Oh. Never mind. That did it. I stand corrected. What do we have here? Made of oh. Baltic amber. Mm. Incredible craftsmanship. It must have belonged to a noble woman. Amber, eh? Oh, would you look at that? Valentinus, the timekeeper. It's a whole new area. today. It was not so yesterday, and it will not be again. They say the devil is inside me. They say I am possessed. I have seen the beast in my heart, and it is only me, only my broken mind. But the priests will not listen. I cannot blame them. Some days they appear to me as apparitions of manifest pain and hatred. So clouded are my eyes. I spit and yowl, for I am mad. But I know there is no evil in my heart. Only sickness that no man can cure. Deep below the holy ground of our city, we have found the source of the corruption. 
One of hell's winding tunnels snakes up and vomits forth a miasma of evil. There is no pattern to the demon's depredations, but his mark is plain. Men driven to wicked words and acts, as God's grace is driven from them. We take them here to the mouth of hell itself to drive out the demons. We do not always succeed. Often the poor wretches are too far gone and they die when we drive the beasts out of them. It is heartbreaking to lose good people. But we must stand against the devil in all his forms. I have made myself a refuge in this frozen hell, in the base of a crumbling tower. I have laid away food and weapons enough to defend myself. But I am the last survivor. By day I watch the deathless army learn the paths they take. They follow the same patterns day in and day out like men trapped in a dream. They are fierce, but they are hollow. Whatever made them men is long gone, replaced instead by a soul of cold iron. I must be careful, but I must know more about them. If this is what the Source can do in the hands of a heretic, think of what it could do in the hands of the righteous. I must have fallen asleep. It is hard to tell time beneath the ice. The Deathless Ones had been busy. Where a pile of ashes smoldered the night before, a corpse now lay, skin as milky white as a dead fish. As I watched, the dead man breathed. A clicking death rattle in reverse as he sucked air in for the first time in a day. Then he looked at me, and I recognized him at last. I killed this man once before during the battle, and he has not forgotten. So I killed him again, crushed his new skull before he could stand, but his ashes smolder anew. I will not be here when he awakes. The cold look in his eyes was like a promise. Like the phoenix, he will rise again and again, each time more determined to end my life. If I stay, sooner or later he will succeed. A codex. Oh my god, this... This is the formula for Greek fire. What do we have here? Blue glass bars. Still in excellent condition. Oh. Many of these survived, for obvious reasons. Cool. What's and this? Soldiers in the Empire would sometimes tie them to their belts. Oh. What do we have a here? <clears throat> made of silver. A vase. A lot of use and travel, but it has a rough portrait of the... They must have begun trading with the outside. Yeah, very rough. What's this? Mm, not very mm. common in Byzantine culture. This looks like it came from the West, near Kiev. What's An this? Ancient carving of a pagan god. Perhaps oh. a fertility idol. It's thousands of years old. Hmm. Before I even held you, I almost lost you, Lara. Yet you fought back, determined to live, breathe, ball your tiny fists, and scream the hospital down. It was the best noise I ever heard. When I went home that snowy night, I cooked myself a steak. Then I drank half a bottle of whiskey, tried to make snowshoes out of tennis rackets, and fell asleep with the cat. I was so damn happy. I think I must have heard that story about a dozen times, and I could hear it a dozen more. I wish that could have lasted. I wish... I wish we'd had more time. <sighs> Thank you. Hmm. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> Oh. Um. Why don't you guys come down here and face me? No? Alright. 
Yeah, I've got... I've got Greek fire too. See? Let me show you. Oh! Whoa! Get out of here. Oh. Is this all you got? Huh? Is this the best you can do? The chamber of souls is through that gate. <sighs> Another trebuchet. Oh, of course. You don't have much time, Lara. You must reach uh, the source before them. There's nothing more you can do. Well, get somewhere safe. Not a chance. You need us as much as we need you. We survive mm. together or we die alone. Now go. All right. What do we have here? A carved wooden relief of what looks like the of Kadesh. It's mm. worn and damaged. This isn't made of local timber. Word of the must have spread. Mm. Mm. Something's in the way. Got to be a way to clear it. What do you mean something is in the way? What's in the way? Oh. Here we go. That worked. Now nothing now is in the way. Just you and me now, gate number two. And you're going down. Fire! Come on. Boom! Get out of here, gate. Yeah. Oh! What the? Shit. Almost through. Just one more shot. <sighs> Damn it. Hey. Screw you guys. Get out of here. Leave me the hell alone. Hey. I would knock that off if I were you. I wouldn't be so bold. Oh, careful now. I know you're still up there. I know for a fact that you need a man to operate the trebuchet. I know you're up there. Just because you stopped doesn't mean you're not there. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna... Give you a little taste of modern weaponry. If you know what I'm saying. Alright, so... You can hold that up there, all alone, by yourself. That's fine. Just be ready. When I come for you. Screw you.
Uh. No. What are you talking about, Laura? That did it. Alright. I don't care if that's the way you know who wanted it to happen. It happened. Deal with it. Now let's move along, shall we? Oh. Oh. Guys, come on now. Got to take them out. Just have to aim this thing. Down. I thought we were friends. Yeah, why don't you suck on that, huh? I'll give you some Greek fire, if you know what I'm saying. Mm, a big load of Greek fire right under your face. I like that, huh? That was a little bit too high, but... Yeah, that didn't do shit. Hold on. Here we go. How about this, huh? Suck on this. Okay, I'm not really doing well. Damn it! A little too high. Oh! But it did get the job done, so... Move along. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Here we go. Look at this. Check it, check it out. Perfect. Right on target. Boom! Anyone else? Good. Now, let's get that gate open. For reals this time. Boom goes the dynamito. And the gate is open. Okay. The way is clear. And the way is clear. <clears throat> oh. Hey guys. Steady on now. No need for violence. What? Hey. I said there's no need for violence. Why, why would you do that? Why would you do such a thing? So rude. So crass. Ow. What is wrong with you? Quit that, guys. You're not fun. Alright. Oh. Guys, seriously, come on. Knock it off. It's not fun anymore. 